Here I am in beautiful Tulum, Mexico, and the question is, when are the crypto markets going to really take off? When is this current dip going to be over so we can resume the bull run fun? When are the sparks going to fly? When will crypto tokens be putting in 100% pumps? Again, everyone loves a good 100% pump. Well, we're about to reveal this and so much more. So tune in because it's time for Chico Crypto. Isn't it funny how the markets work sometimes? Everyone was so hyped about the Bitcoin ETF news, but now since the markets have dipped, many are turning bearish. Which doesn't surprise me because since the peak of the ETF hype, Bitcoin was at 48K, it has crashed down to almost a low of 40K, although it's been hovering around this support for some time. But to this low of almost 40K, that's almost a 17% crash. This is a pretty dang steep dip that would cause people to turn bearish. I don't blame them. But I'm going to let you in on a little secret. The hard truth, friends, this likely isn't the end of this dip. There may be a short-lived pump back up to trap the bulls, but there will be another significant fall. History tells us this is the case. Bitcoin history and history after the gold ETF approval in 2004. But let us begin with Bitcoin's history. So let's go back to two cycles ago and examine exactly what happened. Bitcoin hit its peak price of near $1,200 November 29th, 2013. Some of us know the story after this, but if you don't, Bitcoin crashed severely, down from that number to a low of around 200 bucks. It took some time, but eventually there was some green hope. And then by June 16th, 2016, Bitcoin was back up to $765. So from this peak price in November of 2013 to the rebound peak in June of 2016, this was a total of 930 days. Now let's examine the next cycle. Bitcoin hit its peak price of near 20K December 15th, 2017. Many of us know the story after this. Bitcoin crashed and it crashed hard, down from 20K down to a low of 3K. But then there was green hope. By June 26, 2019, Bitcoin was back up to 13,000. So from this peak price in December 2017 to the rebound peak in June of 2019, this was a total of 558 days. Now, if we take the average of these two, 930 days and 558 days, we get an average between these two cycles of about 745 days. Guess how many days it has been since this last cycle's peak? The last one, November 10th, 2021, when Bitcoin was 69K, to the rally peak price that just happened January 11th of this year. Well, if you guessed it was close to the average of the previous two cycles, you are the winner. It has been 792 days. Based on previous cycles, Bitcoin is due for a major correction. So this correction shouldn't scare you, but reassure you another parabolic cycle is coming. Because if this didn't come like the previous cycles, that is when I would start to get worried. But we don't just say there will be a correction. We try to dive deeper and guess how much the correction will be by. So how much? Well, let's make an educated guess based on the previous cycles. What happened after these rebound peaks? How much did Bitcoin crash by and how long did it take? Well, let's look at two cycles ago to start. As we can see, Bitcoin hit its 765 rally back peak June 15th, 2016. It crashed hard over the next week, all the way down to 591 bucks, a 22% crash. Remember folks, we just had a 17% crash in about a week after the ETF hype. 
very, very similar to two cycles ago. What happened after this initial major crash? Well, Bitcoin bounced back slightly, went sideways for about a month before having another big crash, dropping down to a low of $517. From the 765 rally back peak to this price, this was a crash of 32%. And this came about 45 days after the June 15th rally back peak. After this, Bitcoin rebounded and slowly climbed its way back to that previous 765 peak, and then it went on a run. What about the last cycle? Well, this rally back peak happened June 26, 2019, and topped out at 13K. About a week later, the price crashed down to about 10,500, a crash of over 19%. Bitcoin rebounded, but then they had a second crash, taking it down to 9,500, a crash of 26%. Looks similar to the last cycle from here, but after this, it becomes much different. Bitcoin continued and continued to crash down, hitting its bottom of 6.6K December 17th, a crash of 49%, 117 days after the rally back peak in June. Whoa, there are some big differences here. A 32% crash over 45 days two cycles ago, then a 49% crash over 117 days last cycle. Why was this last cycle like this and not like the one before two cycles ago? Well, as we know, this rally back peak from the last cycle came much earlier, only 558 days after the bull run peak. This is versus the 930 days two cycles ago. So it came basically a year earlier, meaning there was much, much more time to correct before hype things like the halving, etc. This current cycle isn't like the last cycle, the one from 2018 to 2021. It's more like the one from two cycles ago, the 2014 to 2017 one. I wholeheartedly believe this to be true, and there are many popular Bitcoin analysts out there that believe this to be true too, saying over and over this cycle isn't like the last one, but like the one from two cycles ago that began in 2014. Because of this, I think the rally back crash we will have this cycle is going to be very similar to two cycles ago, over a 30% crash over the next 45 days or so, maybe a bit longer, maybe a bit shorter. And this makes even more sense when you look at what happened to the gold ETF in the gold price when it was passed back in 2004. If you didn't know, there was an initial hype with gold before the ETF. The price pumped. But directly after the ETF passed, in the following months, it was not bullish, but bearish. There was a crash. And I actually covered this and made a prediction a few weeks back. Let's listen in to what I had to say. How far could this retrace be? Well, remember, the anticipation rally for BTC was much bigger than gold. 67% for BTC versus 15% for gold. Nearly 3.5 times bigger. Thus, the crash after will likely be much bigger too. Based on the differences between the anticipation rallies, Bitcoin could likely crash by 31.2%. Yup, I predicted Bitcoin would crash by 31.2% after the Bitcoin ETF was passed. So what would the price be? Well, a 31.2% crash from the anticipation rally peak of 48K would take the Bitcoin price down to 33,000. And I believe this could happen over the next 45 days, give or take. And this is based on previous cycles specifically the 2014 to 2017 cycle. But there is another reason why I believe this crash will happen over the next 45 days, and it could be over before we know it. Have you ever heard of truflation? Well, it's a decentralized inflation number that is actual inflation. It's more accurate, it's realistic than what the numbers the government puts out. If you look at truflation today, it's looking nice. As Borat would say, very nice. Very nice. The inflation rate of the US according to truflation is only 1.86%, while the US government with their last inflation report is putting the number at 3.4%.
Now, there was a Reddit post about this low trueflation reading a few days ago, saying risk assets are about to soar, but when? Well, guess what the number one comment about this says? Trueflation is 30 to 45 days ahead of headlines, so mark your calendars. In 30 to 45 days, the government's inflation number is going to be falling down to around the trueflation number. And if you didn't know, the US government targets a 2% inflation rate. If their inflation number is below 2%, get ready for the pivot. Get ready for the money printers to go burr. Get ready for interest rates to drop. Risk assets are going to soar. Cheers, viewers. I'll see you next time. The most trustless name in